Hi, my name is Benita from Patriarchal Femininity. So someone called the feminist cat lady spinster, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, made a video about me and I'm gonna respond to it. Every time I look down there, there's my laptop, so I'm Closing just gonna watch the video. Closing the series looking at people in the trad or traditional movement. And for day eight, we are looking at Patriarchal Femininity, also known as Benita. Her Instagram bio, she is posting about traditional femininity and anti-feminism. She is 24, Roman Catholic, and taken, which is not married. And Benita... I like how she points out that I'm not married, as if that changes anything. The Bible tells older women to teach the younger women. I am the oldest um, out of three siblings, so that already puts me in a position where I need to teach others. And besides that, I've been in a long-term relationship before, and I was um, engaged. Fortunately, it didn't... I mean, to be honest, fortunately, it didn't work out. And now this is my second long-term relationship, and it's based on faith. And we're going to get married in this year, 2022. And I'm going to move to America, and it's going to be great. But yeah, it doesn't change anything, just because I'm not married yet. I'm going to establish a business with basically no restrictions compared to all the burdens you face in here. Hmm. I prefer the English language and American culture over German and Austrian culture or any other European country. That is really interesting to me considering all the Americans that are like, celebrate your European heritage. Okay. She also answered a question about- Um, I think that's a funny point because I do celebrate my European heritage. However, Europeans left Europe to travel to America and to colonize America for a reason. So yeah, we should be proud of our roots and I'm, you know, a patriotic person and I'm nationalistic, but I just prefer the US. She also answered a question why she decided to become Catholic. Well, to be honest, I was considering almost every religion, even Judaism and Islam, but I eventually narrowed it down to Christianity, but because of my ex who was Protestant, I was pretty sure that I'll be Protestant as well, but it doesn't sit right with me. Protestant, like I don't want to be mean. I'm just saying, if you watch this, the feminist cat lady spinster, it's Protestant, or maybe that's just an accent. I don't know. I have an accent too, so. After learning about church history, so then I was considering orthodoxy and Catholicism. It didn't sit right to her, the Christian church history, but Catholic history is okay. So I'm gonna assume she's not Christian because I don't know maybe it just sounds obvious to me and to my boyfriend when I talk about church history when Christians say church history we're talking about the church that Jesus has established on the rock when he gave when he gave the keys to the kingdom of heaven to Peter that's when he established the church so from that point on which is you know in the Bible that is church history so it's not about Catholic or Protestant history, it's about Jesus' church history. Okay. But the deeper I went into it, the more obvious it became that Catholicism is the right thing. I do believe the Catholic Church is the one that was established by Jesus and that the Orthodox Church is yeah, an exactly. schism. Because when you look at the documentation of the popes we've had, we can trace it back to Peter, so it makes the most sense to me yeah, that the Catholics I, I've are said right. all of that. I don't and the reason why I'm not protesting is because of a lot of things to name one. But maybe so she just her. doesn't know. Maybe she also answered why trash. And, I'm just know, loving getting all these answers to all the questions I would, to I would love to not. ask. I used to be a leftist feminist with the colored and all the piercings as well. I also yeah, I said colored. I meant colored hair, but she picks up on it. I already watched the video to be pro-choice, but I realized that lifestyle makes me very unhappy and through my walk with Christ I started my feminine journey. I don't know who needs to hear this, but you don't have to color your hair to be a feminist. And it's not a religion. You don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to color your hair to be a feminist, but let's be honest, most feminists have colored hair, so, you know, I just threw that in there to um, point out how deep I was into feminism. You know, I was like a radical, not even well, I was a radical feminist at one point too, but like, um, I was a very outspoken, very, very loud feminist. Which, by the way, I'm gonna make a video about, so. Religion or a lifestyle, it's simply the belief that men and women should be able to choose their own paths instead of being told what their paths should be based on their sex. And now that we've got that out of the way, let's look at some of our posts. Quick checklist. Did you consent to sex? Did you know sex can lead to pregnancy? Congratulations. If you consented to sex, you also consented to pregnancy. 
by being able to decide whether you're going to have sex or not, you already have bodily autonomy. One of my best posts. So does that mean that in cases of <clears throat> she's okay with abortion because I have a feeling she is not? No, in cases of rape, I'm not okay with abortion either, but I made this post to point out to those who talk about um, bodily autonomy and consent that you know consent is so important blah 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 and I you know if I don't have an abortion I don't have bodily autonomy and stuff like that whatever I made that post to point out how stupid that argument is basically because I mean everyone knows when you have sex you can get a baby you, you, you can get pregnant that's what it is that's what it's meant for I mean yeah there's pleasure and enjoyment and can get closer to your spouse but in the end biologically speaking sex equals baby okay and also saying that if you consent to sex you consent to pregnancy is like saying if you consent to oral you consent to piv if you consent to get into a car if you consent to anything you consent to its consequences if i go because i'm just gonna let it play and then i'll say my piece car, you consent to a car accident consent to one if you get into a car you know exactly that you could get into a car accident, okay? I'm sorry, whoever needs to hear this, but if you have oral sex and you get an STD because, you know, whatever, you had sex with a random person and they gave you an STD, too bad. It's your choice. You, you wanted it. You, you know, it's your own fault. And I'm not saying when you get raped it's your own fault saying that about oral sex and I'm also not saying when you get into a car accident it's your own fault I'm just saying when you do something you do something right there can be consequences and you are aware of them and you do it anyway thing is not consent to another woman woman she her you were never meant to be independent a strong independent woman no thanks I don't know about my husband yes deal with it i wonder if she's living with her boyfriend because the track movement will look down no we are in a long distance relationship i live in austria he lives in new york but this year 2022 we're gonna get married and then i'm gonna move which is gonna be difficult and kind of makes me want to die but <clears throat> you know it's worth it and on that Male apathy towards feminism is what has allowed it to flourish. We should not be experiencing the culture of decay that we are today if men stepped up and led women in the way that they are meant to. All right, well, you hear that, men? It's all your fault that we have feminism. What? It's not all men's fault that we have feminism, but men are supposed to lead women, and men are supposed to stop women from doing stupid things. So once men, or once the society, which was led by men, allowed women to have you know to own property to have a bank account that's where it started i'm sorry but it's true after that we had you know the sexual liberation the feminist movement if men who were in position of power wouldn't have allowed that it wouldn't have happened and Whichever man disagrees with me, I literally don't care, okay? You're denying yourself autonomy when you have supposedly learned that the tradition of male dominance is a lie. When did you start to believe a man's word is more valuable than yours? Benita's response? This is difficult for a feminist. They pretend to be pro-women and fight for a choice, but God forbid a woman makes a wrong choice in their eyes. Then they lose their mind. The feminist movement is absolutely useless. So I don't see how this person is losing their mind. They sound, you know, calm and respectful to me. They are. It's not that this particular person is losing their mind. It's that I get a lot of questions like that and some of them are not as civil this was just an example they're asking a good question you say you're once a feminist and now you think you need to be under a man and then yeah why do you believe a man's word is more valuable than yours i would really love to know that then yeah why do you believe a man's word is more valuable than yours a man's word is not more valuable than mine okay so i'm gonna pretend or I'm gonna just think that she actually is asking that question and not it's not just rhetorical so basically a man and a woman are worth the exact same one isn't worth less than the other 
It's just that I believe, I believe in traditional gender roles, which means because men are more aggressive, more goal-driven, driven, that they are suitable leaders. Women, on the other hand, in general, there are exceptions, are not, which is why they are the ones who are following. That's all. I don't know. It's that simple. I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And if feminism is fighting for all women, then feminists are also fighting for women like me um, who don't want to have anything to do with equality in our society and instead want to be in the home, take care of children, not work. And it's also funny because thanks to the feminist movement, um, women go to work nowadays, so the government receives twice the taxes. And um, they've basically made it not impossible, but very difficult for women to stay at home. Like, who nowadays, honest, be, let, let, let's be honest, there are not a lot of men who earn enough for women to stay at home, like to, to take care of a woman and children, not just one child, multiple children. Who has that kind of money? Not a lot of men. And yeah, we could choose our partners like that, but honestly, I would rather choose my partner because I love him, but because he has money, you know, you can still push men to work harder, not harder to achieve better things, right? Because now they have a purpose, now they have a reason to. But seriously, it's very hard to do that. So let's give men some credit. Can I just say, um, it's actually New Year's when I'm filming this. And I'm having the most amazing drink ever. It looks like chocolate milk. I mean, it kind of is. It's Mozart liquor. It's like a chocolate marzipan liquor. Um, Bailey's and milk. So yeah, I'm drinking adult chocolate milk. Let's continue. I would really love to know that. And saying because Catholicism or because submission is not good enough someone asked do you think it's possible to be traditionally feminine and lesbian bisexual asexual at the same time i'm going to ignore the asexual part because i don't think that's real okay bonita the thing is having a same-sex it's not same-sex attraction doesn't mean you have to act on it you can be a woman who is attracted to other women but still decide to be with a man have a family etc so yes i do think they can still be traditionally feminine however when a woman decides to be with another woman instead of being with a man She's missing out on a lot of aspects of traditional femininity, like serving her husband, letting him lead, nurturing his children, etc. Why do they say his children? Did she not give birth to them? Are they not their children? Well, the same sex attraction. No, of course I don't give birth to them, to my children, but it's his children because you know, Christ, husband, wife, children. That's so funny. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I had some a bit to drink. But more importantly, once I realize it is the natural order. Men are stronger, more goal-driven, more aggressive, less emotional. These are all qualities that makes them a suitable leader. And yet, when a woman displays those qualities, she's shamed and told she's acting like a man. Interesting. I don't understand how telling someone you're acting like a man is shaming them. Because they're male qualities. Doesn't mean that, you know, it's shameful. It's just... In my opinion, not preferable. That's all. None of this means that women are going to be discriminated against. It just means that men and women have different strengths. That once embraced, we thrive not as only as individuals, but also in relationships. Feminists spread propaganda because they want to be independent and fail to do so, either by not managing on their own or by being, or by being miserable. So, a couple things here. Uh, please do not get married because you think simply being married will make you happy. And two... People often accuse Yeah, don't just get married because you're looking for something to fill a hole inside of you. Actually get married because you love your partner. Yeah, I agree. He is being miserable, but I have never said or done anything to signify that I am miserable. It's something people put on me because I identify as a feminist. And I 
Okay, so when people say feminists are miserable, it's because of the way they act. I mean, probably not her in particular, because she seems like a decent person. But you know how feminists are very loud sometimes and they yell. I mean, I'm gonna insert some videos. That's what, that's what people talk about. Yeah, whoever the fuck say that? What? It's gonna be on YouTube. Well, hello. Don't fucking say hello to me, bitch. Why? Don't Why? fucking say hello. I don't play that sexual harassment shit. Let me get your address. What do you mean sexual harassment? Say bitch, don't fucking say hi to strange women you don't know, bitch. I don't understand why. I assume it's because it suits their narrative or because they truly cannot fathom a woman who does not want to be in a relationship. So there are people who decide to stay celibate, and I support that. Nothing wrong with that. Better than to live in sin. A woman who does not want to be in a relationship. But if you are someone who assumes a single woman must be miserable, please feel free to comment and tell me why you think that way. Ladies, you can't complain about him not leading you if you're always taking over and leaving no room for him to lead. But if men are natural leaders, shouldn't that just happen naturally? The point is that there are women who have troubles with embracing their femininity, so they um, act masculine. And when there's two masculine energies in the same room, they're gonna fight against each other. Instead, if there's like the masculine here and the feminist there, and they can all just, you know, be happy together. So it's like um, you're fighting for power, and that shouldn't happen. Ways to serve your husband. Compliment him in front of others. Hold back from pointing out a mistake. Let him have the last word. Join him in his favorite activity. Give him time to himself. Listen without interrupting. Kiss him hello and goodbye. I find it funny that she types this when she's not married. And just last week we are looking at that, that trad girl. Why? Who's like, I'm so tired of these fake relationships, boyfriend, girlfriend, you're not married, you're not a real family. Yeah. Don't get upset when your man is talking. Again, not being married doesn't mean that you can't give relationship advice. I am in a relationship, so therefore I know about relationships. Someone posted, I followed your advice and it ruined my relationship. The more I let him get away with, the more he disrespected me. This could be good advice for some, but you can't be this with a man who is a big baby and throws constant tantrums. As odd as this may sound, sometimes you need to act like a mother and not like a wife. Don't let your man get away with, with walking all over you. Patriarchy isn't about disrespect. I wish I knew that before. All my patience for nothing because he eventually left me after I demanded him to apologize for referring to me as bitch. Men like that friend traditional women because they know they make patient punching bags. Know your worth, girls. There is a fine balance to this. Yeah. This is gonna offend some people. But if you marry a man like that, you didn't do a good job in choosing him. Like, I'm sorry that your relationship ended like that. But there's a reason why you date before you get married. And if you're unsure, or if there are red flags and you're ignoring them, you know, of course, stuff's gonna happen. Yeah, and that, that would be my concern with this as well, that the more you let someone get away with, the more they'll push those boundaries until you have to say something, but then per these women, you shouldn't say anything because you're a woman. It's not about not saying anything. Of course you can say something. If your boyfriend, fiance, husband is disrespecting you, say something. And, you know, if you're not married yet and it's too much, move on. And then you're not his mother. And if you're married to a man like that, I don't believe in divorce, so, yeah. Mother, you should ask. And someone responded, my mother used to get up early and bring my father warm coffee and the newspaper, already unwrapped, to bed every morning. While my father had his coffee, she would prepare the bathroom for him. She would warm up his towel, prepare his robe, and let the hot water run a bit so it was warm and steamy. And then while he showered, she prepared his clothes. And while he got dressed, she finished getting breakfast ready, which she had started before my father woke up. My father was not a morning person and he would not be in the mood for chit-chat. She would do all this in humble silence while he was absent in his own world. After he was done with breakfast, they would pray together and he was off to work. Every single day. My father told me once, after she passed, that he never ever took her for granted because he knew how rare of a gem she was and how just watching her take They're care so of him nice. filled his heart with love and gratitude for her. I'm going to hope he loved her for other reasons, but it just... 
it really kind of creeps me out that it was watching his wife take care of him in such an extreme manner because I mean warm up his towel prepare his robe so will acts of love creep you out I, I don't understand if a wife wants to serve a husband in that way and he appreciates it why, why wouldn't she do that I don't understand that oh how do you even prepare a robe bring him the newspaper and coffee in bed and prepare his clothes I mean he's not a child a man can and and also I mean obviously I don't know that couple I don't I don't even know that person but What's wrong about loving a woman for her feminine qualities? Like, of course you're gonna love her for her personality and her values, but what's wrong about loving her for her feminine qualities as well? No more girl bossing, just girl resting, girl sleeping, girl laying down, etc. Remind- Did she include that? What's the problem with that? It's a meme. Sounds of it, although Bonita pays lip service to being Catholic, I would say she's trad first. And lip service i am catholic before anything i love christ before i love my boyfriend i love christ before i love my family i submit to christ before i submit to my boyfriend and once we're married i submit to my husband then too a religious second and i also have a feeling that she's using being a trad well trad girlfriend i don't know i don't think that's actually a thing but pretty clear she does not want to be independent and have to look after herself yeah she'd rather someone I, I else provide for her while she cooks meals and takes care of the house and the children which i think she's gonna say something now that really bothered me i've never been a stay-at-home mom i never have kids obviously but i think that might be harder than she thinks it is which is kind of ironic like what What? Of course it's hard. What do you think I'll be doing sitting around all day on my butt and not moving? Of course it's hard. So yeah. I don't know. I think she was pretty respectful. I think I was pretty respectful. I don't know. I have nothing else to say. I'm just... The last comment really bothered me. It's harder than she thinks it is. Whatever, you know, what are you going to do? But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will subscribe to my channel and you will like this video. And actually watch the full video because this took an hour to film. So, yeah. Also, since it's New Year, Happy New Year to everyone. God bless your family. God bless you. And I hope you will have a year filled with blessings and joy. Love you. Bye.